In this video, we're going to do two quick worked examples of simultaneous equations where one equation is linear and one equation is nonlinear. Let's start off with the first one. Our first equation now, y is going to be equal to x squared plus 2. And the second equation, y is going to be equal to minus 3x. So this is our nonlinear as we have a term in x squared. I'm going to call that equation 1. And this now is the linear and I'll call that equation 2. If y is equal to x squared plus 2 and y is equal to minus 3x, we can say that x squared plus 2 is equal to minus 3x. That's allowed me now to eliminate y. I'm now going to put this in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And I'm going to do that by adding 3x to both sides. x squared plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. So we're going to solve a quadratic equation to find the values of x and then substitute back in to find the values of y. This will factor, we will have x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 2 is equal to 0. So we can see that x would be equal to minus 1 or x would be equal to minus 2. We have now a value for x. I'm going to put that through the linear equation. So we put it through the linear and we can state therefore y will be equal now to minus 3 lots of minus 1. That gives us now that y is going to be equal to 3. So we have x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 3. If we now consider when x is equal to minus 2, y will be equal to minus 3 lots now of minus 2. That gives us that y would be equal to 6. So we could say when x is equal to minus 2, y is going to be equal to positive 6. If we were asked to find the coordinates of the points of intersection of these two graphs, we could go ahead and write that that would be minus 1, 3 and minus 2, 6. What we have here is now a quadratic equation and a linear equation. If I drew this quadratic equation, we have an x squared plus 2, which is a parabola, and the parabola will look something like this. So we'll be symmetric about the y-axis. This point will be 0, 2. The graph has simply been lifted up by two units. This one right here is a straight line, and that's going through the origin, and we have now a gradient of minus 3. So that will look something like that. So what we have, the solutions of these two equations are the points of intersection. So what we have here is now minus 2, comma 6, and we have just here minus 1, comma 3. So if you're asked to solve these simultaneous equations, these are your solutions. If you're asked to give the coordinates of the points of intersection, we have now minus 2, comma 6 and minus 1, comma 3. So that's a nice example now of solving a set of simultaneous equations where one is linear and one is nonlinear. Let's do another one. Let's take now, uh, and we'll go on this one now. Let's say that x squared, so we've got x squared plus y squared is equal to 20. And we will have now x is equal to 2y. So what we have here now is equation 1. This is the non-linear equation, and this is equation 2, which is a linear equation. If you like, you could write that y is equal to 1 half x, and we know that's a straight line going through the origin. This is a circle now with centre 0, 0, and a radius of the root of 20. So what I'm going to do is make a substitution. If I know that x is equal to 2y, I'm simply going to sub it into here to eliminate x from equation 1. So what we can do is write equation 1 will be 2y, which I need to square. So this now is my expression for x. x is 2y plus y squared, and that's going to be equal to 20. So this is going to give me 4y squared plus y squared is equal to 20. Uh, let's write 20. 5y squared is equal to 20. We can see that y squared is equal to 4 just dividing both sides by 5. So y is equal to now plus or minus the square root of 4, which gives us 2. So that gives me now the two values of y. So we can say that y is going to be equal to 2, or y is going to be equal to minus 2. 
What I'm now going to do is sub this back through the linear equation. So what we can say in this particular case, when y is equal to 2, x is going to be equal to 2 lots of 2. So we have now x is equal to 4. So we have now y is equal to 2 and x is equal to 4. If we now look at this one right here, if we sub in the minus 2, we can say that x is going to be equal to 2 lots of minus 2. So we can see that x is going to be minus 4. So we can say y is equal to minus 2 and then x is equal to minus 4. What we've done here is just now solved for a circle and then a line. So if I just quickly sketch this up, again, you may be asked for the points of intersection. So all I'm going to do is just draw a quick diagram. So here's our circle. So we've got center 0, 0, and this is r squared, the radius squared. So the, the square root is going to be the root of 20. What we have now is this line, uh, y is equal to 1 half x, or if you like, x is equal to 2y. So that's going to look something like so. So that's the line here. So what we have are these points. We have now the point just here, and that has x coordinate of 4 and y coordinate of 2. And then we have this one right here, which has the x coordinate of minus 4 and the y coordinate of minus 2. So if you're asked for the coordinates, these are the coordinates. If you're asked for the solutions, x is 2, uh, sorry, x is 4 when y is 2, x is minus 4 when y is equal to minus 2.